How are we doing today, guys? So today I have the sixth and final subscription box from Boss Fight Studio. This one is the art of Boss Fight. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this guy cut open so we can go take a look at what's inside, shall we? Maybe. There we go. Right there already, I see some goodies. Go ahead and get the paper out. So what do we got here? So here, looks. this is the, the list of what we have. Hmm. So it has... Wow. Sorry guys, just my camera will never want to to zoom. Not zoom, focus. I always say boom, zoom, but I mean flip and focus. So there's the card. Sorry I was messing around with that so much trying to get that to focus. Kind of bummed out that I that it keeps doing that to me. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this is real quick. What do we got here? Oh wow, so we got some really cool looking art prints. So that is the Knight of Accord there. What is this other one back behind him that is stuck from the tape? Let's see if we can't get this guy to... It looks like it's just a blank sheet of paper, so yeah, looks like just to help protect it. But yeah, there is a Knight of Accord art print. That is really, really rad looking. I like that quite a bit, actually. Go ahead and roll that back up. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, look at that coloring. That is just a sketchbook by Boss Fight Studios with the, the Spartan logo on it. Oh, and look, it's got a little little calendar on it for 2021 to clear up to 2023, as well as important contacts. But I really like that design on there. Oh, let's keep on digging, shall we? So we got the, oh, the Serpentus Order Gorgon Horde figure. She is an absolutely gorgeous figure. The purple pearlescent that they have on her and that purple transparent armor is just absolutely amazing. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's go ahead and before we get much more into this box, let's, let's crack that open and take a look at her. Just don't know if the camera will catch it very well, but that that coloring that she has on her tail there is just absolutely gorgeous coloring, in my opinion. Other people may disagree, but in my opinion, this is a very, very good looking Gorgon. Has that kind of purple there to it. Let's see if I can't change my lighting so. See if we can't get a little bit better. Uh, yep, go ahead and bump my camera. Earthquake test. There, now you can see that that pearlescent change there a little bit on her a little bit better. Like I said, that transparent coloring too on the purple is just absolutely amazing. Let's just go. Let's go ahead and set her aside now, though. So we can go ahead and keep on looking at what's in the rest of the box. We also got a gargoyle from the Series 2. Uh, this one here, the, the stone coloring on her is really good looking. I like how she comes with the stained glass axe and um, the ringer from like a bell, a giant bell out of a bell tower. And then has the little, little gargoyle sidekick there. 
There's the bio on the back for the temporal logs. I'll go ahead and take a look at that. Then let's keep on digging. So this set here, the Undead Warrior versus Ringneck Gorgon, the Eternal Struggles 2-pack, this was actually initially um, when Boss Fight Studio was doing their Series 1. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, that was a convention exclusive. You could only purchase this one either at a convention that they were attending or on their website during the convention. And that was the only times it was available. If you take a look at it there, once again, it's got that just really good looking transparent figure along with that, that ring neck Gorgon. Let's go ahead and take a look. The, the transparent on these, these figures I've always really kind of liked because it's, it's actually transparent. Like on some of these figures and the accessories, you can, you can actually see through them opposed to, you know, just kind of partially looking transparent, like. You know, you can see my finger go back in there behind the, the gear and whatnot. And I have always really, really liked the transparent, the actual transparency of their transparent parts. I know that's, that's kind of weird to say, but a lot of the figures that you get that claim transparent just aren't as transparent. And you got the, the ring neck Gorgon and the joint system on these, these snake tails is I really enjoy it. Get some really good posing out of some of these figures. Really good coloring on her. So there it is. There's the the undead warrior and the ring neck Gorgon. 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 The articulation on these guys is just the same as all the other boss fight studio figures that I show. That foot just popped right off there. So he does have double jointed knees, just the swivel ankles, swivel elbow, the double jointed neck. The articulation on the Gorgons, however, you know, they do have the different joint articulation in the tails there. So you can do several different poses. They do also have a, a, a like a, a the mid chest swivel as well as like a waist swivel with a double ball jointed necks. All the same joints come apart on the Gorgons as the, as the human figures. The tail joints come apart. I have actually seen a couple people take like two different Gorgons and it, separate the tail and add extra bits in the middle just to make them overall longer. Let's go ahead and set these guys aside because we're not done digging in the box yet. does also have a white, cloud white female blank and obsidian black male blank. Nice little kind of a yin and yang contrast there. Basic of the blanks. Oh, and this part here, this is really kind of cool. Take a look at this. So first we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. This is a custom cast head specifically for this box it is a scottish skull i guess you could say he has a little sculpted mustache in there as well as uh, the beret so french maybe maybe a french skull the beret would make sense and then this certificate certificate of authenticity of a mold test shot piece so this is a certified authentic test shot that Boss Fight Studios threw in there of the, this is the armor for, I just had a brain fart and I can't remember which one had originally come on. So it's the actual, not the same armor that is on the Undead Warrior, but yeah, there you go. So the certificate of authenticity for the test shot. Go ahead and see if I can't fit that back into the bag. I will I will honestly say that if when Boss Fight Studios does another uh, subscription box service, I am definitely going to sign up for it. 
just because all the boxes have gotten, you know, just really great figures in them. Really, really worth the money. Real quick, I figured I'd go ahead and take this gargoyle out of her box so we can take a look at her. Oh, I've done ripped her in two. She came right apart at the waist. So one thing that's really cool about the, the gargoyle is she does have hinged wings on the back that work in the same pegging system as the arms. I have seen, you know, people have taken out those and managed to work arms in there. She does have some nice little three fingers or two fingers and a thumb there. And then the, the gargoyle style feet has the really mean and menacing looking head there. And she does come with a different set of wings as well, so you can put her into a, a flight mode, opposed to the folded up wings. Just overall, just a really awesome figure. I really like the the stone detail that they put on the paint on her. But yeah, so far there is the the figures in this month's subscription box. You got the two different Gorgons, the Serpentra's Order, the Ringneck Gorgon the Undead Warrior, and the Gargoyle, along with the blanks, the black and white blanks. Really looking forward to, to just messing around with these figures some more and playing with them. And as always, thank you for watching.